atheist meetup postponed due to objections from Hindu nationalists. So obviously this is in our best interest to cover. Uh, recently, an atheist meetup scheduled to take place on April 10th in Maharashtra had, been, had to be postponed because of opposition from Hindu groups. The conference was called the 7th uh, Nashtik uh, Melava 2022, or 7th Atheist Conference 2022, and was organized by the Shaheed Bhagat Singh uh, Vichar Manch. Uh, Nitin Hande, one of the event organizers, was informed by the police that, quote, organizing such an event on the day of Ram Navami Festival, which is the festival that celebrates the birthday of Hindu god Lord Rama, may cause, quote unquote, law and order problems. Hande said that the police claimed that various unnamed organizations believed that, quote, the atheist conference is purposefully planned on Ram Navami for hurting the religious sentiments of the believers. Hande and his team, through a letter, requested the police to assist with the conference, explaining that it was a non-political program that does not aim to hurt anyone, anybody. However, the police claimed they had not received any complaint from the Hindu festival organizers. They still asked the Atheist Conference organizers to move the event to April 24th. Moreover, the police also demanded a list of the topics and scripts of the speeches to be given at the conference, although this was never required for the six previous meetings. Um, okay, the first thing I have to comment on, I'm sorry, okay? Ram Navami. Every time you say Ram Navami, I tell you, like, I, I have, I, <laughs> I'm like, who's calling? <laughs> it sounds so much like Armin Navabi. Ram Navami. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, <you go. laughs> right? Doesn't it? Yeah, Ram Navami. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Other than that, um, wait, what was their issue exactly? I did, I was so distracted with you keep saying Ram Navami. Uh, that I didn't <laughs> I can't stand you. Okay, so there's you know kind of some conflicting messaging going on in this story, and the, it's very unclear. You know, the police are kind of giving mixed messaging. So they're they're saying like, okay, so the the organizers of this atheist conference have been explicitly asked by the police to postpone their conference because the day that was chosen for it happens to be the day for celebration of the birthday of lord rama and so they were saying that you know well there's there's mixed messaging like i was saying so some in some reports um uh here's what Okay, so I'll, I'll read a quote. Nitin Hande, one of the organizers of the event, said he was informed by the police that some Hindutva outfits had objected to the event, PTI reported. The police, however, did not name any outfit or person, he added. Quote, they, the, the police, said some organizations have claimed that the atheist conference is planned on Ram Navami for hurting the sentiments of the believers, Hande said, according to the Indian Express. Quote, police expressed fear of a law and order situation meaning that that's that's indian jargon for an outbreak of violence <laughs> um the organizers told the police that the event was an indoor program and did not intend to hurt anyone quote it is meant for those who believe in the scientific approach humanity modernity atheism and the principles of our constitution Hande said and then they were asked to postpone it um then they said the police sent us a letter asking us to po postpone the event but did not mention the ron navami point they mentioned in the letter that since organizers had not been given a clear outline of the script and the events that they were requesting for them to postpone. So all of a sudden, even though they had previously told the police in advance when this is going to happen, reportedly gotten the approval for it, like all of a sudden they, the police are like, um, you're going to have to postpone and also we need to see script. We need to know exactly what you're going to be talking about here. All right, Eric is saying in this whole Navami thing sounds like pronounced Naomi. Not Navami, but I don't like Naomi. I like the I like the one that's, that's closer to my last name. So we're gonna continue calling it Navami. Um, <laughs> but here, here's the interesting thing uh, comment by Katie. Katie is saying if having an atheist meet can disrupt law and order because it's on the same day as a Hindu festival, wonder what that says about the people on the side of the said festival. Okay. 
And here is another co interesting comment. <laughs> Akash Singh is saying, well, why not postpone Ram Nauvi? Oh, you changed the pronunciation? Okay. But yes, you move your festival because of our atheist conference. We're not going to move the atheist conference. <laughs> <laughs> but no, hey, what? it's so weird because the police are giving mixed messages because then when approached by reporters they're like the police are like we have not received any complaint from an outfit for you know opposing the atheist conference but other people are saying oh after this conference was announced and they saw how much backlash you know they were getting for it online then the police were like um you're gonna have to move this uh yeah and, and the okay, police wait, are wait. trying to say oh it's not about religion or atheism or whatever it's because we don't have enough people to also man this big festival and this and this conference we just don't we, we're overbooked uh, um couldn't they say that this is part of the festival because the hindus keep telling us atheists that hindu atheism it has a part like there's a section uh. of there's a part of Hinduism which accepts atheism. We, mm -hmm, we keep, mm -hmm. That's what we are told all the time. So we could say like this festival was, that's why the reason they picked the state. So why the hate, right? You know, you, you, sir, you have a good point. I thought <laughs> of atheism all was friends. always a part of Hinduism. What's, yes. what's with this contention? What's, yeah. you're, you're going back on it now? What's with that? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Anyways, um, oh yeah, Eric is making the same point. <laughs> um, Wait, yes, but okay. what do you think about, because so obviously this is very important to us and our community. Like, mm -hmm. what do you think about the implications for the Indian atheist community at large? That they that we need to support them 100% because they are the only hope we have. We have like, hey, here's the thing, okay? In India, um unfortunately the all the other forces against this you know far right um ethno national well, religious nationalism is you know some commies some far left you know who which we don't endorse either <laughs> right? so i think the only hope for us is to just keep endorsing and keep promoting and keep um you know, maybe try ways to reach out to atheists and secular groups in India because they are they are the people who should be at the front line at fighting for all of this, right? So, mm -hmm. and we, and I and I think at some point right now, like the tensions is between uh, the Hindus and Muslims, right? But I I think at some point, um, you know, atheism is going to enter the battle scene, right? And I think we need to. I be, think this is one of the first signs of it. This is the first signs of it. You know how, for example, in Christian countries, the battle was most for many years was between Islam and Christianity, and atheism was not even shown under like wasn't even detected on the radar. But then eventually, now both Christians and Muslims are t uh, directing a lot of their resources and attacks on atheists instead, instead of on each other. So I just think like I think atheism is going to also soon become more and more like it already has but i think it's going to become more influential um in india like and i think you, you're going to notice both muslims and hindus in india starting to pay attention to it and so we need to be ready we need to be ready and we need to be available for assistance if need be for anyone at the front lines for our for our mm -hmm. sisters atheist brothers and sisters on the front line we need to provide media coverage and support if we are able to. And actually, guys, please make sure that as as much as you can help us grow our resources, so you know, so that we can, as Atheist Republic, we can be available for assistance when that day comes, when those days comes, right? So again, if you want to support Atheist Republic, uh, link to all our, you know, so all the ways that you could support us is in the description um but do not support us financially if you're struggling please make sure you just like the video uh, if you can't support us financially that helps that very helps a lot okay so just like the video if you can't support us. one thing that um i think i was actually a very important aspect of this news is i was very surprised that this got such mainstream coverage like this happening to an atheist conference got mainstream coverage in the scroll in the indian express 
So that was one thing about this that was very positive. I was really excited to see, you know, this actually getting major media attention. Um, Stormy is saying atheism is being driven underground in India. Unfortunately, I believe this is the case in many states. Um, like we have to take our communities in India off of our publicly facing web pages because of threats against our members and our administrators and leaders. Um, just a reminder, if you would like to join our groups, you can reach out to me at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com and I can help set you up because um, you do have to like do extra screening, which is crazy. Like the level of screening we have to do for India is now comparable or like worse than Pakistan. Um, really? Yeah. And uh, like we have the consulates for Pakistan publicly on our page, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, like, but not yeah. India. Um, Amazing. And, uh, oh, that reminds me. So I am, so uh, people might not be aware, but there's been an incident that I've become aware of where um, some Hindufa people infiltrated an Indian atheist telegram channel where they were making jokes and just talking about atheism, posting their own religious memes, you know, joking on Hinduism. And they've bas basically been doxxed and had FIRs and police reports filed against them. So they're being openly targeted for being atheist um and you know they're blasphemy and all this stuff um so i am aware of this issue i haven't had anyone who was affected by this reach out to me directly um but if they would like to reach out to me i can see what we can do you can email me at atheist republic at gmail uh, no not at gmail <laughs> susanna at atheist republic.com uh aga put my email in this uh chat right here so yeah, please reach out to me. I did see someone talking about this in our live chat during our last Q&A, but like, that's just someone in the live chat. I need someone to actually start communication with me before I can actually maybe help out. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.